Ah, Connor. What a relief. You came. <laughs> Allow me to... to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. Did he do any assault on Clayton? Where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. Cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christ Jesus. Like the signal, two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah. You take the reins, I'll navigate. <clears throat> Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Yes, this is it. This is the way. Excellent. We are right on... Co Redcoats. What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. Left! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Let everyone know that the regulars marched for Lexington and Concord! The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend! We have more people to warn! Way, Connor. This way, Connor. Yes, this is it. This is the way. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Way, Connor. 
Be on the lookout for red coats. Left! Go left up here. Always swift and sure. I like that about you, Connor. We should dismount for this. It'll be quicker and quieter. This is it. You have got the right place. Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! I believe we are on course. Excellent! We are right on course! Go right, Connor! To the left, Connor! Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Get them! We need to lose them. Faster! We need to get away from them! Faster! We need to get away from them! That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Go right, Connor! To the left, Connor! Go left up here. Excellent! We are right on course! Left! Excellent! We are right on course! Left! Let us continue the search on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh... Put on some trousers. At once!
Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Coats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. You damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! Run! Look! The red coats are taking captives! No, 
Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. Why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. Have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play a hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captain. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your lady's finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so... I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do. Wait. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Red Coats perform the Red them to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive.
We did it! They're turning tail! when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So they may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly. There as to pay, no sir, I beg leave to assure really? the Congress that I as no pecuniary seven. consideration could have Charles tempted me Lee. to have accepted this arduous employment at the do expense of my you. domestic ease and happiness, I, I do not wish to make any profit from it. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Those I doubt not they the will discharge, and that is all I desire. Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him, and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Still here, are you? I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. 
but you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest?